Hello and welcome back to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at arrays in Swift, including creation, adding and changing items, removing items, count versus capacity, and storing simple structs in arrays. Arrays are zero indexed ordered collections in Swift, so you might use them in something like a list of top movies. But let's get started with declaration and creation. If we just want to declare an array, we can put var array zero colon and then we need to tell Swift what types this array is going to hold. So let's just make this string. And now we have an array that we've declared and we can initialize it later. You can put pretty much any type in here. So you can put a string, integers, doubles, optionals, tuples, structs, classes, and even functions. So if we want to declare and initialize an empty array all in the same line, we can type var array one equals and we'll make this of type string optional and then we put open and close parentheses like this and now we have an empty array we can also declare and initialize an array with one value by using the array keyword we type var array two and we'll make this of type double and then it equals 3.14 you can initialize an array with any number of default values using the repeating and count keywords so let's look at that next. Var array three equals, we'll make this of type string. And here we can put repeating and count. So the string we wanna repeat is bacon and the count will be 12. And this will create an array with 12 spots and each of the spots will contain bacon. You can also create a new array using your string literals instead of having to specify the type. So that would look like var array four equals and instead of putting a type string here we can just start typing strings so we can put chips salad grilled cheese arrays one through four were declared and initialized but array zero was only declared so let's initialize it now to be an empty string array and now let's print out the contents of all five of our arrays and press play and of course, array zero and one are empty. Array two has 3.14. We have 12 pieces of bacon in our third array and then chips, salad, and grilled cheese. Since array zero is already empty, let's work with that one to add and replace values. Let's comment out this code. Let's add a few items to our array using the append method. So array zero dot append. We'll add our first element will be morph ball second element will be bombs and then we'll add super missiles and now let's print out the contents of our array so it was empty we added morph ball bombs and super missiles but it looks like we forgot to add missiles before our super missiles so we can do that using the insert method array zero dot insert at so we have a new string to insert, which will be missiles and at index. As we said earlier, arrays are zero indexed in Swift. So morph ball is at index zero, bombs are at one, and super missiles are at two. Because we want to insert missiles before super missiles, we want to insert our missiles at slot two. And what's going to happen now is super missiles will get shifted over to the right and missiles will be put right in this spot. If we want to replace all elements in a range, we can do that using the replace subrange method. Array zero dot replace subrange. And here it's asking for a subrange. So let's just put slots two through three. Now, again, the dot notation means that we're replacing everything from two up to and including three. If you put a less than three, then it would not include the three. But let's do both and we need to replace it with a collection. So this has to be an array of strings and we're going to replace it with, let's say high jump boots and various suit. So missiles and super missiles were replaced with our two new items and we can go back and change an individual item using subscripting array zero of, and let's change high jump boots to power bombs. 
So that's again, slot zero, slot one, slot two. So ray zero of two equals power bombs. And now we have power bombs replacing our high jump boots. An important thing to note with the insert method is that if you try to insert at an index that does not exist or is out of bounds, you will get a fatal error which will crash your program. So let's try to insert at index 10. Press play. Array index is out of range. So just be aware when you're inserting that this could happen. Let's put this back to 2. A similar case is with replace subrange. So if you try to put a 10 in here, then you're going to get an, a fatal error and your program will crash again because it's going to try to replace values in indices that do not exist. Subrange extends past the end of our array. So again, just be wary of your indexes and how large your array is when you're trying to replace or insert. Next, let's look at removing items. We can call array zero dot remove, and there's a ton of different options available for us. You can remove all, which will remove the capacity as well. You can remove it at a specific index. You can remove a certain number of items from the last or just the last item. And you can also remove all and keep capacity. Let's just remove all and keep capacity for now. True. And we'll print out our array. Now let's look at count and capacity. So we just cleared out all of our array zero, but we did decide to keep our capacity. Let's see what that value is currently set to. And it's four, and that makes sense because we have four items in our array. Obviously our count will be zero, but let's print it out as well. And let's also check to see if our array zero is empty. Print. So of course we have zero elements and it's empty. Swift will keep your array and its contents and capacity in a contiguous spot in memory to improve performance. So if you add items past your capacity, Swift will reallocate your array to a new spot in memory that contains enough space for all of your elements as well as additional elements. Let's append power bombs to our array five times and see what happens to the capacity. Now our capacity is eight. Because we went over our four initial capacity by adding a fifth item, Swift has reallocated our array by copying it to a new spot in memory. And while doing that, it doubled our previous capacity to eight to give us more room to add additional items. And finally, let's look at a basic example storing structs in an array. Let's create a video game struct. And it will have a name and a genre. We'll make an array of video games. So of our top five games, video game, and we'll make it empty. Video game, name and genre. We can print out an individual item in our array by calling our top five games and again using subscripting. So let's just grab the first element dot and already we see that Swift has given us genre or name. Now let's loop through all of our items and print them for game in top five games print game dot name. printed out all of our games. But what if we wanted to add a one through five in here so that we can see that they're actually our top fives. You can use the enumerated method on an array, enumerated. And now we can work with tuples in our initial variable here. So instead of just game, we'll put index and game. And let's add in our index variable in our print statement. Index. but we see our index values here, and that's because we're grabbing the index. So to fix that, we would just put a plus one. And there you have it, top five video games. 
That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment, and remember to hit the dinner bell.